Sup guys, it's Nick, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, last time, we started on the first night. No, why? I hit continue. What happened? What? Why is it on first night? Alright, well, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back, I guess. Jesus Christ, I gotta do this shit again. I don't know why I did that, but... I guess now I have to do night two. Or night one. I have to do night one again. Alright. Shut up. Okay, so... I finally did it. Um, it was actually... I didn't even beat it. I Because I lost. Because I sat there with the doors closed. And I ran out of energy and died. Um, but I went back on the... The main menu and it was just like continue from the second night and I was like okay and then I clicked it and it just returned me here and now I'm on the second night so I don't know what the fuck happened the first time but it's fine now so good for me I guess but anyway this one I probably won't be focusing on it too much anyway but I do have to keep more of an eye on Foxy and also the little chitlins are more likely to be at my doors, so I'll be a little more diligent when checking those. I think my rhythm for this is going to be three cycles of checking the lights, and then I check Foxy. And that means one, two, that's one cycle, and then one, two, that's two cycles, and then one, two, third cycle, so now I check on Foxy, and he's alright. I'm not going to rush too much because I, I do want to save energy, but uh, like I said, I also need to be more diligent on this night. So also, I can't believe I didn't do that before. And also, in the last episode, uh, I got a comment uh, and it made me laugh. So uh, I completely forgot to say, was that the bite of 87? And I don't know how I did that. But, I mean, I guess that would make... Oh, shit. Yep, he's out. Okay. So now I'm going to do two cycles. Because he's... Because three cycles is too slow. Okay. Uh, yeah. But right now you can see it's like I'm, I'm real sloppy, making a lot of mistakes. Once it comes to... When it comes to night seven, you can't have any of that. None of that. Like, if you're doing 420 mode, nah. -uh. No, that shit. Like when I click it and it like it stays on for too long. Like I'm trying to click it again to like turn it off, and it just like doesn't turn off. Like that, I can't let that happen when when I go into uh, 420 mode. But yeah, um, so was that the bite of 87? I think that's a better line for when I get to FNAF 4, because I am gonna try and play all of them. These playthroughs should be relatively relatively quick. I imagine this one is going to be seven episodes, one for each night of the game, because there's seven nights. Um, next game, another seven part. Uh, three is only six parts, unless I do Aggressive Nightmare, um, which I might do that. I think it might actually end up being eight because I might do it the Markiplier route, where I do every night, and then I also do like the good ending stuff. All, or I might just do it all at one time. I think I'll just do it all at once. Shit, I have not been checking proxy. Okay. At least I don't think I have. I don't remember if I have been. Yeah. But, um... So I think I'll do, I'll, I'll get the good ending and uh, just like finish everything. I like, okay, let me actually think about what I want to say before I say it. Uh, so I'll get the good ending for FNAF 3 and all that all in one run. So I won't go back and do it for a, another separate video. Um, so that take care of, that takes care of that. So that's five nights, and then I'll do one on nightmare mode, um, or I could just do straight into aggressive nightmare mode. But I think I have to beat nightmare mode in order to unlock aggressive. We'll see. Uh, if I do 
then I will do Nightmare first, and then I'll do another video on Aggressive Nightmare. Uh, and if I do not, then I'll just do straight into Aggressive Nightmare. Uh, but yeah, that's because FNAF 3 is the first game you can get four stars on instead of just three. This one you get three, one for completing Night 5, one for completing Night 6, and one for completing 420 mode. Um, and in FNAF 2, you get um, one for completing Night 5, one for completing Night 6, and one for completing either 2020 mode or Golden Freddy mode. If you complete 20, uh, if you complete 420 mode first on FNAF 2, then you get a star. Uh, and if you do Golden Freddy mode first, then you get uh, you get a star and the Golden Freddy plush, which I didn't know that at first. But then, like, I was experimenting with it because I wanted to get three stars on um, FNAF 2, but Golden Freddy mode is, like, really hard. So, I found out that 2020, like, yeah, 420 mode, it, it gives you the star and nothing else. So, technically... If you do Golden Freddy mode first and then get the star and the Golden Freddy plush, 420 mode gives you absolutely nothing. So that's why I'd rather do uh, 420 mode and then. Oh fuck! Okay. Well, I he wasn't at the door. All right. You know what? That's not very nice. Not very nice of you, Mr. Man or woman. I technically don't. I don't know what gender Bonnie is. How? On night two? Are you fucking kidding me? God. Alright, I mean... Alright. Well, let's try that again, shall we? Because that was not good. But, yeah. So, that's FNAF 2, and then FNAF 3, you get one for doing uh, night five, one for completing the good ending, which just be it means finding all the secrets and whatever. Uh, and you get, uh, one for completing Nightmare Mode, uh, and then you get one for Aggressive Nightmare, which there wasn't one originally, and then people beat Aggressive Nightmare, because Scott didn't think it was even possible, just like he thought 420 Mode was impossible, he thought Golden Freddy Mode was impossible, he thought Aggressive Nightmare was impossible, so there was no fourth star, and then people beat it. So he decided whoever beats it gets a fourth star. And then from there, I think like most of the games have like four stars. Uh, so um, FNAF 4, you do one for night five, uh, one for night six. And then there's nightmare mode, which you get one for. And then there's a 420 mode there, which that you also get uh, another star for. So that gives you four stars. And then, just a location, you get one for, uh, one for night five, yeah, one for night five, uh, and then one for, uh, one for getting the alternate ending that they have, there's like an alternate one, and if you beat that you get another star. And then you get one for uh, Custom Night, I think. So, I don't know. Because uh, there is a Custom Night in Sister Location. God, I hate these lights. Every time I click it to turn it off, and it's like, nah, bro. It's like, nah, bro, you didn't click that again. Uh-uh, doesn't count. Yeah, I really gotta look out for Monsieur Bun Man. Like, Chica is not as big of a problem. But Bonnie is really annoying. She'll probably hit my door, but she's not as annoying. Yeah, and you'll see I've now switched to checking the left one before I put my thing up, just because he's 
uh, Bonnie is more likely to show up and also the fact that I end on this side I know I come over here to like end the cycle the fact that I come over there and then don't check it before I go on the camera was kind of like setting me off a little bit so I'm like you know what? I'll just check this just to make sure when I go up into camera actually you know what? I'm gonna do this where I just like end on the side and I just like alternate because that makes it easier to make sure there's no one there see I click the buttons and it's like nope no nope, bro didn't count. And then there, I went to flip down the monitor and it didn't do it. I think I have to just be like less sporadic with it. I'm like all over the place. Just like have more of like a like a smooth rhythm rhythm versus just being like, alright, I gotta go fast as fuck boys. I could also probably turn my sensitivity up. Because it's not super high right now. It might be at the highest, which if it is, that would suck. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. I checked Foxy, good enough. There we go. Alright. Where are you? Where are you, little chitlins? You little bad mumble bumbles? You little Dio Burandos. Where are ya? Causing mischief. In my house. Yeah, that's right. This is my house. I own you, bitch. I bought your entire house for like four bucks. Suck that one. Actually, I guess on Steam, it's like eight bucks. It's like four bucks on the Google Play Store. But on Steam, it's like a solid eight bucks. So actually, you guys got more bang for your buck. Or I guess you got more buck for your bang, actually. Alright. Uh, hop. Well, no people's there. Was Foxy still in there? Yeah, he's still in there. Okay. Good job, Foxy. You're my favorite because you're the least annoying. Actually, that quickly becomes not true, because Foxy gets very annoying. Why, why, I'm, why I'm moving again? I'm, I'm drifting everywhere. Jeez. I hate the hallucinations just because it throws me off. It's like it's not that scary or anything. It's just like it startles you because it just like shows up and it's like, oh shit, and now you've thrown off my groove. Now I get how Emperor Cusco felt. I understand him. Yeah, I found that if you, like, move your mouse in, like, just like a little circle, when you go to press the light button, well, I found that it's more likely to, like, get jammed I guess or for like the for like a click to like not turn the light back off if your mouse is in the same spot so if you just like click it go off real quick and click it again just like move a little bit then it'll click it better I don't know if I have my cursor on I don't think I do uh, so you guys can't see it, but if you could see it, it's just like, you just make a little, little circle, just like, up, up, and then you're good. See, it, I did it again, I didn't move it, and so it stayed on. God, I'm losing my shit now. Honestly, this does get stressful. Not scary, but stressful, because it's like, I just don't want to mess up. If I'm being honest right now, I can just sit with both of the doors closed, I bet. 
Once I get to 25%, I'm just gonna sit. Alright, boom. So he's there, I'll close that, I'll close that. We'll just chill. Because I don't want to deal with this. Can I get a Hady Honk? Give me a note. I have one of those in real life. Hold on. Wait, let me show you. I'll look at it. Here, show don't tell. Right. Here, let me let me show you. It's it's right up here. I don't know how well you can see that, but can you can you hear that? I'll move the mic up higher so you can hear better. Can you can you hear it? It's great content. Absolutely wonderful. All right. I should record more from like standing up there. I should definitely do that. All right. How was that? How was that experience? Did you guys enjoy that? Because I thought that was rather fun. <sighs> All right. Well, it's been real. But I think we're pretty much done. There we go. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. I died once, but that's 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 all right. Cause I hadn't perfected my strategy yet. All right. I'm gonna not do this. Is it okay with you if I don't do this right now? Because it's one night per episode. Ah, uh, come on. And. I'm gonna just get rid of that. Just get out of there. There we go. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this one. This was this was good. Starting to test my skills a little bit, a little earlier than I thought it would, honestly. But the next night, I think it adds on the Freddy component, which that makes it a little more annoying. But this wasn't too bad. I can definitely deal with this. Cheeky didn't even hit my door. Which I thought she would, but maybe that's because I left it closed at the end. Maybe she would have hit it if I hadn't left it closed. I don't know. But what we do know is that I'm going to get through this for you guys and also for me because I like playing these games. It's fun play. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, you can hit the big old like button because it tells me whether or not you like the video. So consider doing that. You can also feel free to go check out the game in the description. I would totally recommend anyone who has not played Final Fantasy Freddy's. I would totally recommend you do that because it's a very fun series. Uh, if you like like light core horror, I would totally go for that. Um, yeah, and there are a bunch of free ones. I know uh, Pizza Rita Simulator is free. I believe Ultimate Custom Night is free, and FNAF World is free. So, you could just play those if you wanted. Um, it's free to play on Steam, except for FNAF World. That got pulled from Steam, which I found out recently. You had to pay money for that when it was on this, when, it was, when it was on Steam. It actually cost money. And uh, I, ha I got it from Game Jolt, and it's free. So, go check those out, I guess. But I'll leave this specific one in the description. Um, when we get to the other games, I'll leave those ones down there. So... Uh, yeah, you can also feel free to check out my Twitter and Instagram. Those are always down there for you to check out. Uh, I posted recently, and I do that sometimes. So, you know, that's what those are for. Um, and you can also feel free to leave comments with suggestions. I like to read those. You guys are really nice. Uh, give me more FNAF Bite of 87 memes. Uh, I need to know whether or not this is the Bite of 87, so I really would like that you request uh, giving me Bite of 87 memes. Please do it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, you can click right over here to go see my most recent video. You can click over there to go see the rest of the Finance of Fridays playlist. There's only one as of now, but there's going to be more. Uh, and you can click right in the middle there to go subscribe. But anyways, thank you guys once again for watching, and I'll see all you guys in the next one. Uh, 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 oh, is that the bite of 87?